Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Suns versus Celtics NBA matchup on Saturday, March the 9th, 2024. Of course, if you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for one-on-one -on -one style service. We have these products. They're just not available on the website. You have to text the number you see on the screen. So if you make big bets like I do, text that number. But let's get to this one. Suns taking on the Celtics. Of course, for the uh, Boston Celtics, uh, that loss to the Denver Nuggets. They had a chance, you know, 45 seconds left to go. Tatum wide open with the three. Brick City, no chance. And uh, only 15 points for Mr. Big Talker in that one. And uh, the Celtics go down again, second time losing to the Nuggets this season. I know the Celtics have the best straight up record in the NBA at 48 14. But if you bet on the Celtics every time this season, you have lost some money. And I'll tell you, if you bet on them on the road, you've lost even more money as they are just not a great cover team. 12, 15, and three against the number on the road despite a 19 and 11 straight up record. I'll tell you what, even if you bet them on the money line, you're losing money as well, despite only losing 14 times this season. Um, those 11, if you bet on money line on the road, you've really taken a beating this season on the Celtics. So one of those things where it's like they're winning a lot of games, but they've been favored in all, in all of the games too. So it certainly doesn't help you. And we look at the Phoenix Suns, 20 and 13 at home this season, 36 and 26, six and four in their last 10 games. Of course, they've got a lot of superstars on their roster, guys that have kind of been there and done that. So while the Celtics have a lot of guys that are playing well, putting up big numbers, the Suns actually have guys that have done it before, like Kevin Durant, who uh, you know has some hardware. This is the first meeting of these teams this season. We're seeing that as a common trend. And the Celtics coming into this one on a two-game losing streak. So for a team that's you know lost only 14 times all year, a two-game losing streak is about as bad as it gets for them. Meanwhile, on the other side of it, the Phoenix Suns come into this one on a two-game winning streak. Beating the Denver Nuggets in Denver. Of course, Denver could have been looking ahead to that Boston game. It doesn't really matter. They beat them in Denver. They beat them by double digits. And then they come back, beat the Raptors by seven in a game that they're favored by ten and a half. I don't know, man. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. They had split with the Rockets, beaten the Lakers, lost to the Rockets, lost to the Mavericks. You know, so it's it kind of goes on and on. The Suns have been consistently inconsistent all season, but we know if you get let these guys in the playoffs, which they are certainly headed there, well, certainly a team that you know can certainly do some damage. Booker still nursing that ankle injury, but he's due back mid-March, so it could be any time now at this point. I think when we look at you know the tail of the tape between these two teams, we know that the Celtics are one of the best shooting teams out there, and they can shoot from the perimeter, and they're decent at hitting their free throws at 81%, and the Suns really strong defensively, seventh best in the NBA in shooting percentage against middle of the pack when it comes to defending the three upper middle of the pack and the Celtics lead in a lot of the defensive categories but the Suns still can shoot the ball fifth best in the NBA at 49.2 percent I think that because the Celtics numbers are so high and so off the chart it kind of diminishes or at least you know yeah, it diminishes really what the Suns have accomplished this season and the way the Suns are more of a big effort team on the boards. And the Celtics are so soft. I think the Suns have a chance to win this game pretty solidly. I'm going to take the Suns and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.